Thailand, the land of smiles, home to over 66 million people, Thailand is located in Southeast Asia, bordered by Laos, Cambodia, Malaysia, and Myanmar, which is modern-day Burma. The Thai people are proud of their rich cultural heritage and their honored monarchy. Despite their smiling faces, the Thai people live a life much without hope for this present world or eternity. Buddhism permeates the very culture of Thailand, being the official religion of 90% of the country's population. The religion of Buddhism stresses the need to deny oneself a desire in order to alleviate suffering and hope to one day reach enlightenment. In the meantime, Buddhists try to earn merit by giving to the monks or the Buddhist temples in order to reach a better status in their presumed next life. Most families even send their sons to be novice monks for a period of time to earn merit for the family. Ancient pagan practices of spirit worship have also been mingled with Buddhism in Thailand. Outside nearly every house, business, neighborhood, or gathering place sits a spirit house for the purpose of attracting evil spirits so that they will not inhabit the people's houses and cause mischief. The Thai people will embellish the spirit houses with fresh flowers, food, and drink to entice and please the spirits. Yet no matter how much they try to please the spirits or reach enlightenment through Buddhism, the people of Thailand drift through life without hope. Most have no thought for achieving anything with their present life and face an eternity not with another chance at life, but an eternity in hell without Christ. My name is John Beale, and this is my wife Brittany, and the Lord has called us to the field of Thailand. We are sent out of Faith Baptist Church in Wildemar, California, pastored by Bruce Goddard. Since graduating Bible College, we have been on staff at Shenandoah Bible Baptist Church under Pastor Corey Bain, serving as Christian school teachers and youth workers. I was saved during a church revival meeting when I was 15 years old. And during my teen years, I told the Lord I would do whatever His will was for my life. But my main plans were to become a teacher at the Christian school where I grew up. During Bible College, where I met Brittany, the Lord really put world missions on our hearts, specifically the country of Thailand. Initially, we had the intention of short-term missions, maybe investing a few years on the field, and then coming home to pursue another career in the ministry. However, during a survey trip to Thailand, we saw the great need of gospel-preaching missionaries committed to long-term service to make a deep impact for the cause of Christ in Southeast Asia. The Lord is doing a great work through the ministry in Hua Hin. Not only are people regularly saved and baptized, but through training and discipleship, lives are being drastically changed. Like most Buddhists, a lady named Wan Pen had spirit houses outside her house for years, even after she had been saved and baptized at International Baptist Church. As she grew in the Lord, she felt convicted about having the spirit houses, even though she no longer believed in them. With the help of the church members, Wan Pen brought her spirit houses to church and smashed them while many others joined in. This was a powerful symbol of the bondages of false religion being destroyed and her freedom in her new life in Christ. We will be joining a team of missionaries partner with Fundamental Baptist Missions International to serve in the city of Hua Hin, Thailand. Serving with Team Thailand will allow us to jump right into the ministry of International Baptist Church of Hua Hin while we start two years of intense language study to learn the Thai language, since only 10% of the population can speak English. From day one, we'll be involved in soul winning, bus ministries, teaching English, public school ministries, and church planning. There is much more work to be done in Thailand. We have plans to learn the language as soon as possible and be an active part of starting a school and Bible institute to train Thai nationals. Team Thailand has already started four church plants in other cities of Thailand and plans to start many more in the future with the help of more laborers. When the harvest is plenteous and the laborers are so few, how could we not go?